who had a leak. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I fix this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In a recent video, I got the charger running. You saw that, or well, hopefully you saw that. If not, I'll leave a link to the list at the end of this video with regards to that one. Stick around till the end of the video if you want to hear it running. <clears throat> what we did notice though is we had a leak. In today's video, I'm going to show you where the leak was, what caused this, and how I fixed this. A while ago now, I bought an aluminium radiator to replace the original radiator in the charger. The last time I used the charger, before I put the new cooling system in, it, it got really warm and started to get close towards overheating, which it doesn't normally do. So I thought I'd change it for an aluminium radiator and a new water pump, as you'll have seen in one of the previous videos. So we've got all that in, we've got it all piped up, got the radiator filled with water just to start with, to see if it ran okay without leaking, which it did seem to do on the day when it got fired up. Then we had the aggravation with the uh, the cross threaded cooling pipe that I did. You'll have seen the video for that one. And then a mate got in touch and said he wanted to use the car for his wedding, which we've now done. The wedding's happened. And obviously I didn't film any of the wedding other than this little clip to prove that the car was actually there. As you can see, we didn't just use the Charger, we used the Mustang as well. Wedding went without a hitch, all worked well, but there was one or two little issues before we left in order to get to the wedding. Here's what happened. Now we took the car at the local garage to fill it with fuel before we left for the wedding. My mate was in the car with us and he did a quick check around the car whilst I was putting the fuel in. And he saw water pouring out the front of the car from the bottom of the radiator. So initially thinking it was just a, a loose hose that I hadn't tightened up properly, fired the car up, brought it home, got under the front of the car to have a look to see where it was leaking from, and it wasn't one of the hoses. It was coming from the drain plug. Now the drain plug was tight when I put it in, however it had worked its way loose somehow. So we tightened it up again, put more water in the radiator, and left it for a few minutes. So it was the drain plug that was causing the problem. And that was because the drain plug is made of plastic. Now it should have another one of those wings on, but I snapped that off when I was trying to tighten it. I did put Teflon tape around it to help it in the seal, and we've got it in the seal. That didn't seem to make any difference, so I actually tightened it. I put it in finger tight and then tightened it up with a pair of pliers, which is how I came to snap that wing off. Now, inherently, there's nothing wrong with the drain plug itself. It does the job perfectly. It bolts in, it tightens up, it stops water from leaking when the engine's cold. However, it doesn't stop water from leaking when the engine's hot. And the reason for that is it's fixed in to this aluminium radiator with the caps off because I've just drained all the water out and I'm about to top it up with antifreeze. Now if you look at the radiator, ignore the wiring, I'm busy doing wiring for the headlights, but if you look at the radiator, it's a nice thing, but it is one of the cheap radiators. Now, I picked that up off eBay, it was supposed to be a direct fit for the charger, and it was indeed a direct fit for the charger, but it was cheap, I think it was a little over £220. When you look at it a little bit closer, it's all welded securely and nothing leaks from the wells, but the wells aren't the best. They're not fantastic, they're nice, they're tidy, there's no rough edges, but they're not perfect. Now I'm not saying I could weld this any better because I've got no idea how easy or difficult or awkward it is to weld aluminium. However, the price of this radiator is reflected in the welding. But that's not even the problem. That's not what caused it to leak. What actually caused it to leak was the fact that the drain plug's made of plastic and the radiator's made of aluminium. Now, when aluminium gets hot, like any kind of metal product, it expands. It especially expands around where the plastic drain plug is. So although the radiator was fine and nothing was leaking when the engine was cold, as soon as you fired the engine up and the radiator started heating up, the drain expanded around the drain plug, the drain plug became loose and the water leaked out through the sides of the threads where the drain plug was. At this point, we only had 45 minutes before we were due to be leaving in order to head off to where the, the venue where the wedding was. And we were supposed to be indoors, getting dressed and ready to go. Fortunately, I still had the original radiator from the car. So thinking that it might work, I came through, had a look at the radiator, this is what I found. Now the drain plug for the original radiator went in here. As you can see, it's a brass surround into a brass cap on the radiator, and that looks like it bolts in. Now, as well as that bolting into the radiator, there was also a drain plug uh, joint that bolted into it as well, with the, built, uh, the drain plug built into it. So, I unbolted that, 
and took it over to the charger to see if it would fit the aluminium radiator, which it did perfectly. I don't know if you can see down there, that top shape item just there, that's the original drain plug, or well, that's the drain plug I should say, from the original radiator. Now the thread was exactly the same size, it bolted directly into this one, we took it, we bolted it in, made sure it went in fully, took it back out, covered it in Teflon tape and put it back in again. So we filled the radio with water, fired the car up, let it run for a couple of minutes, rushed indoors and went to get changed in order to head off to the wedding. So after getting changed, I'm coming out and having another quick check under the car. Everything was dry, didn't seem to have any leaks. So we jumped in the car, fired it up, went down to the wedding, checked it continuously throughout the day. It was as dry as a bone, so I sat leak fixed. So what I'm saying guys is if all you can get for your car is a budget radiator, if it comes with a plastic drain plug, change it for a metal one or make sure you can get a radiator with a metal drain plug in it. Plastic just doesn't cut it in a piece of metal that's going to expand with heat. So it's uh, true what they say, buy cheap, buy twice. Fortunately on this occasion I could put a metal drain plug in there which solved the issue and made sure my mate got married. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video and you found some kind of value or some kind of entertainment in it, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Loads more to do on the Charger yet, as well as the other cars as well. Uh, I'll leave a link up here to the whole playlist of the Charger cooling system going in so you can see all the issues. Thanks again guys. See you next time. Bye for now. Now because I know how much you all like hearing the Charger, here's a special treat for those that have stuck around at the very end of the video.